Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a, just a little bit of a random video. Uh, at the moment, I'm waiting for stuff to finish downloading for another video that I was going to make. I could give you a little hint. Um, this should give you a hint if you know what bezel engine is for the NX add-ons, or if you really want to know what I'm downloading. Um, this will give you a big hint. But right now, I am looking at uh, just something random. I decided archive.org is a fun place. And a lot of times I like to go to archive.org, type in random URLs, and see what I find. And today, I had a smart idea of going to archive.org and typing in the CDN server for attachments for Discord. And boy, was I awarded with some stuff. So I wanted to go through and by the way, yeah, I'm always going to rep my friend's website. If you have a website or something like that and I check it over and, you know, I enjoy it, I'll rep it with a little watermark on my on my uh, videos, just like I'm doing for Repulsive Hacks. Um, I'll do that for anybody. You know, if I like what you're doing or, you know, it's something that interests me, we can talk it over and I'll rep you just the same way I'm doing Repulsive Hacks down in the bottom. That's my friend's website for Combat Arms Hacks. Go check it out. It's awesome. He's not paying me to do this. He did give me access to his VIP hack, which, you know, I'm grateful for because it's awesome. It brought my love of combat arms back, but he's not, you know, paying me or anything to say this. Go check him out. It's awesome. But today, let's go over what I can find on the attachment server of uh, Discord and see if I can even download any of these. So when I do this, I like to do things like checking for different, oh, <laughs> <laughs> checking for different um, file types. So like here's a randomizer for probably some kind of game. You know, here's a picture. You know, you can colorize your online pre-release. That's something that maybe it shouldn't even be public and it was probably from like a private message. You can find that kind of stuff here. It's a little kind of exploity, but if we do .exe, we'll get some stuff. And we can even go from old to new or new to old. So PRCE setup, Mega Downloader, SMBR, who knows what that is. Shadowrun HD, SR patch, PBS updater. You know, I don't know if I really want to know what a lot of these are. Breath of the NES demo. So that's probably Breath of the the Breath of the Wild um, NES version, which I've heard of. I've never played, but I've heard of it. There's R Factor and R Factor 2. Interesting. So, yeah, there's a lot of weird things you can do with this. Mario Minigame Mayhem HD. Who would have thought? So, you know, there's not much in the way of EXE files, but SMBR English. Huh. Interesting. Shadowrun. You know, the thing that's got me most interested is this pre-release thing let's see if it actually lets me download it because I do not know if it actually will yet I can do dot rar and I'll see a ton of stuff tons of stuff King Lucas for Steamworks Hero Song I wonder let's search we dot Tima let's see Nintendo Nintendo Switch Homebrew Launcher dot RAR. That's all there is for Nintendo stuff. Okay. Maybe Switch. Homebrew Launcher, Switch on Wii U. Interesting. Switch Ident dot NRO. So that's like a, uh, that's a n narrow burning ROM image. That's interesting do dot rar because i didn't really look so random patch some mega downloader viking squad steamworks some other steamworks stuff some borderlands stuff moto racing utopia that sounds kind of fun castle crashers cool um plague inc evolved hmm weird thing there nintendo switch homebrew launcher outrun europa Star speed running, 10 star speed running guide. So this is probably Mario 64. 
Why go pro information? That's cool. That's Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. You know, I love stuff that's random file names like that, just seeing what it is. Um, let's see if this downloads. So one thing that's really nice about archive.org is it'll tell you, and it's got a color coding system, if a file should work to download. So for example, this one does work to download. Let's also download, we'll download all three of these at once. But if this is green, it's a 300 error, which means it probably is going to just, uh, I think that's a forward error, a forwarder error if it's a 300 error. Not 100% sure on that, but as you can see, it is definitely giving me the downloads. My cats are going nuts. Thank you very much. And we'll get this one, which is YGO Pro 64 bit. You know, maybe I should get the 32 bit as well, just in case I want to share this with more people if it's something interesting and fun. This is an Xbox demo. That's interesting. Oops. Um, let's see, let's do dot zip. Zip. This still isn't loading. How are these downloads doing? I have the downloads off to the side. So colorizer online pre-release, a smart thing to do whenever you are randomly downloading files that you probably shouldn't is either, um, it's usually open it with something like resource hacker if you have it, make sure it's legit, make sure it doesn't have anything binded with it. You can do this by like looking at the manifest or the version info. So this is Gecko Map Tester Colorizer. And then you can like see the icons and stuff, which is, wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I should open this on a uh, video, but then also have something called Sandboxy. And you can hit okay to run it, try to run it, and we're gonna run this and see what it is. I probably shouldn't. Um, oh, we're gonna download this real quick too. So I have the YGO Pro. 32-bit um, as well. Probably going to show up behind this with my luck. We're going to hit this real quick, see what it is. I feel like I shouldn't have ran that. You're probably going to get proof of my stupidity for running a virus. Huh. This is for Splatoon. Okay. Oh, wow. So this is a Splatoon hack. Wow, okay. If you guys want me to share that and, uh, you know, actually figure out what it is, I'll definitely do that. Let's open up the speedrunning guide, the 10 star speedrunning guide. I feel like this is Mario 64. This is not Mario 64. Don't read, nowhere. I feel like I should open these off screen before I open them on screen. Give me one second, I'm gonna pause this and make sure these are all right. Okay, it's literally a speed running guide for the game Silent Hill. That's pretty cool. So if you guys want me to share this, I feel like this probably isn't something that should be, that was meant to be public, maybe it was. You guys can tell me in the comments if you know of this, but maybe that's something I can share as well. I can keep doing this every so often see what else I find um you know when Wayback Machine does this sort of stuff I believe it stops at a hundred thousand URLs for listing things this way so I'll probably find a way to load more URLs or see if I can load like from year to year with this and just go from there but uh all-star soccer hmm GBA style Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Average Normals, Hex, Supersonic Electronic Pack. Ooh, that's probably music or something. Burst Chinese website. Ooh, that might not be something I want. Um, my cats are going absolutely nuts. Wait, Dino Ranger, interesting. Who knows what this is? Hot Dog Boy V1, all right. Fresh Meat Challenge logos. Huh. SM64 Online Hotfix. 
We're gonna download that. That's not. Oh, I okay. I know where. I already know what that is and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, Pokey ride, quick save. Nothing really that interesting here. Hmm. A DSI hard uh, flasher thing. Breath of the Wild, 60 FPS mod. That's pretty cool. Boot animation. I wonder what that's for. Probably Android, but you never know. Octohax, test fire. I wonder if I can search. You know, I have another idea of something to search after this. LZ decomp. That's familiar, and I don't know why. Arm 9 loader hacks. I think that's a Nintendo DS thing. We'll download it because it's interesting. Um, let's check the Wigo Pro stuff. Here's the 64 bit. Okay, I do know what this is. Wigo Pro. Um, it's a Yu Gi Oh! Online, I believe for Android. Then again, this might be... Yeah, this is just the data folder for Wigo Pro. Okay, so if you opened up like these resources or these asset files, I'm not sure what you'd get, nor do I actually know what these are for. Arm9 loader hacks already, so it's just a .bin file. So it is like an exploitive thing for some games somewhere or for a game console, like I was saying. CSV tool, that's interesting. <laughs> Luma for retards. Um, let's see, bone renamer. Deal with 4chan alt-right troll. Hmm, okay. Some torrent. Shigal mod, Wigo Pro stuff, Corkscrew 217. Hmm, there's nothing really here. Overly spicy chicken nugget. You have my attention because I'm a fat kid. Um, I'm not really a fat kid, I just say I'm a fat kid. Resident Evil 2 one shot demo plus trainer. Cool. Uh, let's do like APK. Nothing for Android. Let's try IPA. Nothing for iOS. I know I can do like images and stuff too. So I'll probably do like .png and let's just see what pictures we find. I probably shouldn't do that. I'm going to come across like stuff I probably shouldn't say the name of in a video because I'll get demonetized for it. Um, here's a mod loader logo. This will tell us what kind of mod logo. Rare Pepe 2. Oh, God. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, God. I'm. What other file types? Do we do, like, 7Z? 7Z. There we go. Zelda 2 Life is Meaningless. That's a Zelda mod. I've heard of that. Sonic World, Sonic Rider, Zero Gravity theme. Interesting. Ocarina of Time Overdump Files Debug. Hmm. Uber ASM Tool 13. That sounds fun. Bejeweled Deluxe. I love that. I love Bejeweled. Such a good game. Will always be one of my favorites. Let's uh, let's hit this file here. Hmm. Interesting. T mod loader. Wonder what that's for. Oh, what other file type should we do? Should we do .txt? I wonder if we can do like CP. Don't take that out of context. That's C plus plus. Okay. Don't do that. Um. Nope. I'm trying to think of other. Files like uh like part files or something. Okay, so I can't do part files. I can't search those. Um, let's just search words. Car. I wonder. 
I have some other ideas for other videos, but uh, that are just flowing through my head right now. But there's a lot of stuff here. I obviously don't know what every file type I could search for this is. There's going to be file types I can and can't search. Like, you know, there's 2,000 pages of stuff here. Those were my cats. I don't know if you heard that. Those were my cats. Let's, you know, I'll scroll through a couple pages. It's mostly PNGs, but I don't think there's any other file type I can think of. I'll just do like a... This is usually realistically how I do things. Oh yeah, of course, exe. Um, let's see, overly spicy chicken nugget. What in the hell did I find? I don't know what any of this is. Give me a second. Pause. Some anime stuff that I can't show. <laughs> and definitely I'm going to delete. Oh man. But I'm sure there's file types I'm missing. Like here's FNT, it's a font file. I could definitely look that up if I really wanted to. You know, there's uh there's a lot of different things here. And I'm never gonna be able to find them all for what's uploaded. But there's definitely a lot of fun to be had when you just put in random files, honestly. So, like, here's links.html. Who knows what they're links to? Might be worth it. God damn it. Like, here's index, here's links, and here's links. That's pr one of these is probably the next day. Um, I'm going to pause it for these because who knows what these actually contain. So this index.html is a little bit interesting. It looks like it's a... Um, it's a PlayStation 5 archive... Or a pa PlayStation 5... PlayStation 3 or 4 file for exploiting the PS3, basically. PS4 jailbreak 5.05, .05. so. Yeah, this is a PS4 jailbreak file that who knows if it's supposed to be public or not. I don't, but that's not a big deal, honestly. It's still cool to find, for sure. And look, there's a GitHub. Archive bot. We'll pull that up because it sounds interesting. Archive bot and I an IRC bot for archiving websites. I've heard of this. This is interesting. I wonder if they have an actual like release releases. I type it wrong I did okay not a big deal so yeah cool little stuff it's some cool stuff to find I'm sure there's a ton more things to find hidden in you know CDNs like this I've done this for other files as well um, or other websites other links like uh, one of my favorites to do this with is a non file um, you can also do it with zippy share you can do it with all sorts of different websites, in all honesty. Archive.org is a very powerful tool. And if you're looking for anything on the web and you can't find it, but you know some form of an original URL to try to find it, you can find it using archive.org more than likely. If it's very obscure, you probably realistically won't. But there's some cool stuff you can find doing this. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every so often I like to try to remind the world of how useful archive.org is. And that's kind of the point of these videos. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.